Given the amount of ammonium nitrate, there would be very likely a, a very large hole in this part of the state. Could a deadly explosion like this one that happened in West Texas happen here in Arizona? That's the question the ABC 15 investigators and the Arizona Center for Investigative Reporting are trying to answer in a three month long look into hazardous chemicals in our state. ABC 15 investigator Lauren Gilger went to the largest fertilizer plant in Arizona, one with 80 million pounds of ammonium nitrate. That's about 148 times more than was stored in Texas. Apache Nitrogen Products is the largest fertilizer plant in Arizona. A few miles away sits St. David, population 1,700. Their volunteer fire department serves as the area's first responders. We have uh, 13 volunteers. Jason Todd joined the department four years ago. He says his second week on the job, they got a call from the plant. They break fire on a, a truck hauling hazardous materials. It was right at the front gate. Do you know what was in the truck? I have no idea. To this day, St. David firefighters don't know what chemicals are in the plant, but they should. Arizona law requires facilities like Apache Nitrogen to file what are called Tier 2 reports. They list all large amounts of dangerous chemicals with the state and county emergency planners. Local fire departments must be included, something Apache Nitrogen failed to do. Do you have any of the hazardous chemical inventory sheets? No, we don't. If they do call us to show up, we have to stop at the gate like everybody else. Well, so much for emergency. Planning. Steve Brittle is an advocate for stricter environmental laws in Arizona. He says if first responders are kept in the dark, the same type of disaster that occurred in West Texas could happen here. Of the 15 people who died in that blast, 12 of them were first responders. When they get there, they're in a reactive mode. They don't really know it's there and anything can happen. Anything can go wrong. In 2009, a dust explosion at the plant exposed 10 workers and we discovered Apache's been fined twice for not alerting authorities of four different chemical leaks. The smaller departments are usually left in the lurches trying to figure it out on their own. Apache Nitrogen told us in a statement, safety is its number one priority across its entire site. And they are in constant communication with the fire departments in their area. They say the closest departments with hazmat capabilities are 35 miles away in Sierra Vista. We should be able to be allowed to train with their folks um, so that we're at least familiar with the facility and familiar with the hazards that we'll be facing. Lauren Gilger, ABC 15 News. Apache Nitrogen has their own hazmat and suppression teams on site, and they tell us they plan to hold a training exercise with the St. David Fire Department. That should happen sometime later this year.